I'll show you how to build a farmhouse style coat rack that's surprisingly simple to build. You can make it out of scrap wood so it'll cost you next to nothing and on top of that it'll make the entryway to your home look amazing. And even better than those three things is I'll show you right now. They say that first impressions are the most important ones. So how do you want someone to feel about your home the first time they walk into it? Do you want it to have a sense of community, a sense of warmth, a sense of welcome? Well, there's many things that you can do to affect the way people feel when they walk in your home. And one of the greatest ones is to set up your entryway to evoke that feeling of warmth and welcome. Right now, when you walk into my house, all you see is a blank, boring white wall. That's not the impression I want to give people, so we're going to have to change that. So the entryway that I envision is sort of farmhouse style and it serves more than one purpose. Other than just being warm and welcoming, I want it to be functional. So we'll have a place to hang your coats, maybe a little shelf on top for some knickknacks so that you can really get the feel of what we're going for when you walk into our home. Throughout this video, I'll be introducing you to the materials you need to get it done and exactly how to use them. So make sure to watch all the way through so that you don't miss anything. Of course, I need to know how much space I have to transform, so I'm going to take a measurement of my area. This one turns out to be 38 inches exactly. I just happen to have some 30 inch pieces of butcher block that a friend had given me from a cutoff that he was doing in his kitchen. I thought this would work awesome with the farmhouse style we're going for, so I simply held them up on the wall and tried to figure out visually how many hooks we could fit that wouldn't look too crowded. Now as is so often the problem with projects, the part that I thought was going to be the simplest was the hardest. And that was deciding what hardware to use on this coat hanger. I took a trip to Home Depot, Lowe's, and Ace Hardware. There were too many options. As you might be able to tell, I almost lost my mind. Between the three places, we're talking probably a couple of hundred options, and I went, eh, I'll just walk in and pick out what I like. Uh-uh. So I went home, found my wife, and said, what do we want to do with this? And she said, of course, I know exactly what I want. I want them to be black, I want them to be satin, and I want two types of hooks. I want the fighting drunken octopus hooks and the long hooks. So I went back to Home Depot and I picked up exactly what I needed. Don't ever go to a hardware store without knowing what you want because you'll end up spending way more than you need to and probably having to go back anyway. I have drawers of stuff that prove that I, I, I like buying stuff. Anyway, let's get back to the project. We know the butcher block is 30 inches long, so I'm gonna find my 15 inch center mark and put a mark there with a pencil just so I know where that is and lay out the rest of the hardware accordingly, making sure to measure both horizontally and vertically to make sure it's all spaced exactly correct. Once we have all of the locations for the hardware marked out in pencil, I'm gonna take everything off the board and we're just gonna work with the drunken octopuses. O octopi? Octopies. The, dr the drunken ones, we're gonna work with those. And first we're gonna lay them out, and then we're going to draw both locations where the screws go, and we're gonna draw around the head of the octopus itself. If you don't have a drill press to make sure that your holes are perfectly straight into the wood, you can always use this wonderful shop hack of taking a piece of wood and your T-square, uh, making sure you have a perfect 90 degree line to the edge, and then just keep your drill as perfectly straight as you can using that mark and the wood as your guide. Now being that this is a farmhouse style piece and not an industrial piece, I didn't want to have the mounting hardware out and prominently displayed. And the way I figured I would do that is to hide it underneath the hangers themselves. What I'm going to use for that is Toggler Toggle Bolts. Now Toggler is not a company that sponsors me, they're just a great product that I go to because I know I can depend on it. The toggles that I'm using for this project are actually rated for 265 pounds a piece and I'm gonna be using two of them that means that in theory I could get up on top of this thing and jump and it's still gonna be held into the wall let's take a look at how to use these right now for the sake of our demonstration let's pretend that this piece of wood in my vise is your drywall wall that we're gonna be mounting on first thing you need to do is drill a hole in accordance with whatever size toggle bolt you're using I'm using a quarter inch bolt so I need a half inch hole if you take a look at this toggle bolt, there's three pieces to it. The metal top on part is called the channel. There's two plastic straps that lead down to the plastic cap. So you insert that metal channel through the hole you've drilled and then pull it, making sure that it's seated firmly against the back of the drywall. You then take your plastic cap, push it up against the opposite end of the drywall, snap off your two plastic straps, and that's about it. You just take your bolt and whatever you're bolting to the wall at that point, affix them, and you're done. 
Now we're going to use these toggle bolts in conjunction with the drunken octopus hooks by hiding the toggle bolt underneath the head of the octopus. While drilling through the thick butcher block, I decided to use two different size drill bits to kind of act as a countersink for the bolt. This allowed me to make sure that the bolt went through both the butcher block and the drywall with plenty of clearance, and that the head of the bolt didn't stick out of the front of the piece of butcher block so that we could have our drunken octopus sit flush against it. At this point, we're going to go ahead and pre-drill all the holes out for the hanging hardware. But instead of putting the screws in and attaching them, we're going to remove all the hardware, take the butcher block, stand it vertically, and get ready to make a shelf on top of it for knickknacks and such. Since we know that our main piece of butcher block is going to be super secured to the wall with not one, but two, 265 pound toggle bolts, I figured that the easiest way to make a shelf for it would just be to take an identical piece of butcher block, countersink four holes for screws, add some glue to make sure that the bond is nice and tight, and just screw them together. Then hit it with some sandpaper and you're ready to go. In order to hang our now newly completed piece, you're gonna be needing the piece itself, a level, and a pencil. Or as in my case, because this wood is way too thick for a pencil, I grabbed a long nail. Then I made sure that the piece was centered and exactly where I want it, and of course, level. Then I shoved the nail through the holes that I had drilled for the bolts, marking exactly where I would need to put the toggle bolts into the drywall. At this point, you're simply gonna go through the process I showed you of how to install the toggle bolts, making sure that they're exactly where you made your marks, and then it's just a matter of getting your bolts and your piece and putting it up. And if you did everything right, it should be perfectly level. Now that our entryway piece is on the wall, you go back and put all of your hanging hardware in place and you're good to go. Now before I do the reveal, I just want to say that I, I think I figured out why I love this so much. I really like the way this piece came out, but I love it because my family's going to use it. It's something nice, yeah, it's pretty, but it's something that I built that's going to be part of our house forever. I think that's why I love this all so much. I also love that we went from boring and cold to warm and inviting. It's beautiful and the space looks way more welcoming and inviting than it did before. This is a win-win all around. And even better than that, we're gonna use it every day and that's what I really love about this piece now if you love this piece and this project I want you to go watch that video next I know you're gonna love it and if you haven't done so yet though it would be crazy make sure to click that button right there it's the subscribe button and anytime I upload something new to the internet the internet will let you know right away see you next time Wednesday 4 o'clock